What's up, peeps? Let's get into some cryptocurrency news. For starters, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just to help with research. Are you guys ready to get this crypto money? Listen, we are still going to get this crypto money, okay? I know the markets are bloody. The markets are down. But if you're a true believer in crypto, you will see this as an opportunity to buy more at a cheaper price or sit on the sidelines and just wait things out forget about your portfolio for a while let things come back up guys look at this look at all that red 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 it's obvious the crypto market has been taking a hit things have been going down so with that being said, it's times like this when you have to have that conversation with yourself. Ask yourself, self, am I in crypto for the short term or am I in crypto for the long term? If you're in crypto for the short term, then bye-bye, bye-bye, see you later. If you're in it for the short term but for us that are in it for the long term this is just a temporary pullback even if it lasts for a couple more months it's just a temporary pullback we know things will eventually go back up even if it takes a few months even if it takes a year we are in it for the long term and we're looking at the bigger picture don't believe me look at this look guys this is Bitcoin, the monthly chart. As you can see, over the long term, Bitcoin, the crypto market as a whole, it goes up over the long term. It might not happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a few weeks. It's not going to happen in a few months. But long term, crypto goes up. So with that being said, guys, why is Bitcoin keeping on dropping? Why is crypto still going down? A big reason why, if you're not aware, right here is the stock market. As you can see, Dow Jones, SPX, NASDAQ, everything's going down. Everything's in red. A big reason why is because there is a Fed meeting that is going on tomorrow and people are waiting to see are they going to raise interest rates? Or are they going to lower interest rates? So everything is on pause. And unfortunately, the stock market right now, whenever it goes down, unfortunately, it also impacts the crypto market and the crypto market goes down too. Think about back in the pandemic when we had the lockdowns announced, the stock market crashed. What also crashed? The crypto market. So right now, things have been bloody throughout this week because of this Fed meeting that everybody's waiting to hear from. So based on how this plays out, Bitcoin can start rallying back up. It can go sideways, but to be fair and honest, guys, there is a possibility, looking back at the chart, if things are not good based on the announcement that comes from that meeting, we can see Bitcoin going back down to 40,000. And this is also gonna cause the prices of all the altcoins to drop. It's a possibility, but who knows? Maybe there'll be a positive outcome of the meeting and this will start preparing us for a rally and having a wonderful quarter one of 2022. So with that being said, guys, today's video, we are talking about Ariva coin. Ariva announce that they have been listed on BitTrue. This comes 
Just in a few weeks ago, they had announced that they got listed on Bitrix, but they are now listed on BitTrue, another exchange. That shows you that this project right here is a long-term project that you should accumulate, not financial advice, but the team is committed to growing this project. They're getting listed on more and more exchanges. So we know eventually as crypto continues to grow and more momentum comes back into the market, that this project right here is not only a long-term project that would do well in the future, but price will go up on this project. So this is the announcement for the Twitter page. I'll put a link to it. And this is actually the official announcement from BitTrue themselves, just announcing that they have listed Ariva. Now, currently as of today, December the 14th, 2021, Ariva, and just like every single altcoin, including Bitcoin, is down. It's been down 7.35% in the past 24 hours. And its current price is at 0.0004047. Currently ranked at number 757. Volume is at 19.7 million. That is important. That shows you, despite the fact that, yes, everything has been going down, there's still a strong interest in this project. Volume is high. That is a good amount of volume for a project that is fairly new. Because keep in mind, guys, this project has only been around since September. Think about this. It's only been around publicly since this September. And look how high its volume is. So there's a strong interest. It's currently on 629,250 people's watch list. There is a strong interest in this project. Now, when we look at the BSC scan, you can see that it's currently on 118,503 addresses. These are people that currently have it on, in their wallet. So there's a lot of interest in this project despite the pullback, despite prices dipping. So the fact that they've got listed on more and more exchanges, the team is committed to growing this project and it has a bright future ahead of it. So just as a quick reminder, current market cap is only at 25 million. So this project has room to grow even more. And as more money flows into crypto, 25 million market cap is going to be nothing. A billion dollar market cap in the future, in the next few years, as the crypto space has more money flown into it, is going to be considered nothing. All right. So let's just be conservative. Let's just say that Ariva were to reach a billion dollar market cap. Divide that by 25 million. That is essentially 40x from here. So if you were to invest $100 right now, you can potentially make $4,000 from this project if it were to reach a billion dollar market cap. And the fact that they've added it on more and more exchanges throughout this recent sideways action, bear market, whatever you want to call it, and the fact that Volume is at 19.7 million. We see how much people have it on their watch list. We see how much people have it in their wallets based on the BSC scan. There's a strong interest in this project. So that also lets you know that this project can, can, I'm not saying it's exactly going to happen. It can reach that billion dollar market cap. It can go even higher than that. So this project right here, guys. It's something that I recommend that you look into. I've already made a video about it in my page, so you can actually search for it. I'll put a link to it. Guys, things are looking good. Remember, one last thing. Diamond hands always win in the end. The key to making money in crypto is being patient. The money is not going to come overnight. The Lambo is not going to come overnight. But people who are patient, always win in the end. And with that being said, guys, I am out.